The days are getting shorter, the weather is getting colder, a self-help book is to be turned into a movie and there is a new format on the SoftSkill channel. Time for a new channel update. Welcome to the SoftSkill channel. My name is Sebastian Jung and I welcome you to the channel update October. We discussed lots of interesting topics recently, starting with a video about role models, where we try to figure out if role models help us be successful. I think this was uh, an important, basic and foundational topic, because in the area of soft skills, they are always self-appointed role models and gurus and the like, so I think it was important to talk about that. In this regard, I always uh, remember a story about Peter Drucker. Peter Drucker supposedly didn't like being called a guru and he said the term guru would only be used because charlatan would be too long for the headlines. After the role model video, we discussed the Pomodoro technique, a technique I quite liked after uh, doing the research and trying it and I'm still using it on a regular basis and it's quite helpful to me. And by now I've also managed to better deal with these short breaks and these regular interruptions. In the beginning it was a bit distracting to have the timer ring in between work, but uh, now I really drop everything, I lie down for a short moment, close my eyes, take a few deep breaths and then I continue working and I continue right where I left off and this works just fine for me. And I guess it's better than saying, oh well, I just finished this and then I take the break, oh there is an interruption, oh I have to do this and that and two hours later you still didn't take that short break you had postponed. So I can really recommend the Pomodoro technique, feel free to give it a try. And after that, we discussed the important question, what is work-life balance? After more than a year of soft skill channel videos, it's about time we clarify that. And um, it was quite interesting. If you see in the video, you probably recall that it was a bit uh, difficult topic because there aren't plenty of sources, the definition is quite unclear, but I think we've laid a good foundation for future discussions of the topic. And of course there was a book review and it was quite an exciting one. Nassim Nicholas Taleb's The Black Swan. Quite an interesting, quite an exciting book, I really enjoyed reading it. A lot of interesting topics, interesting aspects, However, it was also quite a piece of work. More than 400 pages, complicated topics, lots of names, lots of uh, complicated terms. So it wasn't that easy. And I guess in the end it only worked out because I really set strict priorities and I really focused on the topics that are most relevant to me and this channel and I only briefly touched all other areas. And the video still ended up being about half an hour long, so there wouldn't have been room for more anyways. Well, it was uh, quite a lot of work and this is, by the way, my excuse why this channel update is rather short, because the Black Swan required that much work. So, which topics are to come in the next couple of weeks? Next week there will be a video with an entirely new format on this channel. I call it a soft skill talk. Usually I focus on a specific topic and I present a specific topic in a rather condensed form. I know my videos are rather long compared to YouTube standards, but the content within one video could often, within let's say a 20 or 30 minute video, could often also fill multiple hours of workshop, so they are, I think, um, rather brief in in regard to the topic they they deal with and the information they contain. 
And uh, in a soft skill talk, I want to try to do it in a bit more relaxed way, not so much about a specific topic, but I want to talk with you a bit about things that interest me, about things I thought about, or about interesting things I stumbled upon. Such as in this case, because recently I read an interesting article about how we use our leisure time and I would like to talk with you about that one. Since it is a new format, I am especially interested in your feedback, so if you watch the video, please let me know if you liked it and if there are any topics you would like to see in such a soft skill talk. After that, there will be a video about reducing working time, about working fewer hours, where we discuss models such as the four day week or the six hour day. Uh, it's an interesting topic. I made a first draft for a video about this quite a while ago and now I thought it would fit uh, the context nicely because we recently discussed work-life balance and next week we are talking about uh, leisure time, how we use our leisure time in the soft skill talk and I thought this would fit in nicely there. And furthermore, in my last position as an employee I had a four-day week so I have some personal experience there and I will also talk about that in the video. And finally, of course, there will be a book review and this time I will present the Miteinander Reden series by Schulz von Thun. Literally translated, talking to each other, it contains four volumes, uh, three main volumes plus a fourth volume that contains questions and answers. Uh, unfortunately, it has not been translated into English but uh, the books are rather important because Schulz von Thun is an important figure in uh, regard to communication in the topic of communication. So I will present this to you. And it is meant as an addition to the other Schulz von Thun videos because I already discussed plenty of topics related to Schulz von Thun, but I never did any book reviews so far and I want to close this gap and in the book review I want to talk a bit about which topics are from which books and how they are used, how they are related to each other and <clears throat> give you a bit of context for the books, talk about the fourth volume, the questions and answers one and things like that. I think it will be quite interesting. Speaking about quite interesting, I recently stumbled upon an interesting headline. The German filmmaker Til Schweiger is planning to turn The Y Cafe by John Strelecki into a movie. So there will be a movie based on a self-help book, which I find quite interesting and amusing. Few details have been announced yet. All that I know is that Til Schweiger himself will direct the movie and he will also play the role of Mike, the owner of the Y Cafe. Um, the protagonist, John, will be played by one Tim Oliver Schulz and one Paula Kallenberg will play the role of the waitress, Casey. This is pretty much all that is known so far. Of course, I don't know yet which time, uh, when the video will hit cinemas. And unfortunately, I also don't know if there will be an English version of that movie. Uh, seriously, I, I doubt it because plenty of Til Schweiger's German movies have not been localized for the English market, have not, are not available in English. So the Y Cafe probably won't be either. Still, I find it quite interesting uh, that the Y Cafe is to be turned into a movie. I think it will be, it, it will probably make sense from a financial point of view. As I frequently mentioned, John Strelecki is quite um, beloved and popular here in Germany. His books have been on bestseller lists for several years and are, they sell like crazy, a lot of people like them, 
So the movie is probably a safe bet. I guess plenty of people will say, oh, the Y Cafe, I read that and I liked it, so I will have a look at the movie. So it will probably work out from a financial point of view. However, actually making that movie will probably be quite challenging. Because um, if you've seen my book review of the Y Cafe, you might recall that there really isn't that much of a plot. The highlights are pretty much that John orders breakfast and later a piece of cake and this is uh, because there is so little else happening. Most of the book is filled with dialogue, with conversations where they talk about the purpose for existence and things like that, but there isn't that much actually happening. So I guess they will have to make up a lot of additional plot maybe add a love story or something like that to make it more interesting to watch. Anyway, I'm quite curious, so I will certainly watch the movie when it is finished, uh, at least out of curiosity, to see how they make it work, how they turn a self-help book into a movie. And that's pretty much all for today. As I said, uh, the Black Swan required so much work, there wasn't much left for the channel update, unfortunately. By the way, I am now reading Thinking Fast and Slow by Kane Man. I mentioned it before a couple of times. I mentioned that there will be a book review about that one. And maybe this will still happen this year. If uh, things work out, it will be the book review in December. Can't make any promises yet, but I'm trying. It is even more difficult than The Black Swan, has a hundred more pages and it all is also quite complex. So we will see, but I'm trying. But for now, we will um, next week have the first soft skill talk and I'm quite interested to see how that works out. For today, I'll take my leave. Have a nice day. See you next time.